Hey everybody, this is Claire, and this is Small Joyful Things. As always, I go to thrift stores or estate sales, or sometimes I buy things from Craigslist, and I'm always looking for things that I find interesting, or that I think you guys would find interesting. And then I bring them home, try and find out as much as I can about them, and then tell you guys about them. And I've got something kind of different today. I have an antique box. <laughs> and bear in mind that I normally do kind of ceramics and glassware and everything. I just thought it, was, it would be kind of cool to give you guys <laughs> something that looks like it could, you know, it, it kind of looks like it belongs on like a pirate ship and that it should have like the balloons or something stored in it. Um, you can see that it's quite beaten up <laughs> and hopefully this show up. It actually has a little bit of damage here as well. You can see where this piece at the bottom I want to be really pulling about that. That definitely is cracked and that would need to be fixed. To be honest, the whole thing is kind of in need of restoration. And I don't know anything about like how to restore old boxes. And I don't think I would even try. Like this is the kind of thing where I think you'd want to just with all the signs of, of wear. And there are quite a lot. It is kind of cool just to look at. And that's not even the coolest thing about it. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll talk about this in a sec. Hold on. <laughs> anyway, let's measure up. It is about nine and a quarter inches across, and I'm gonna say it's gonna be seven inches, including the hinges. Maybe, maybe six point seven five, including the hinges at the back. And then it is two point seven five inches high. There we go. Now this is this is pretty cool. This is an this is a real antique. Like I'll tell you that much. Should be kind of obvious anyway because you can just look at that, just look at that dark surface. This thing is as age going on for it, and like it's definitely old. It's so badly scratched up, and it's made entirely it's made entirely of wood, obviously, um, and it's very made very nicely of wood. I'm not sure if you can even see very well in the corners. It might be hard to see. You can just by see them there. The way that the corners are actually interlocked. Like this is a well-made box and get a load of that clasp now i did some very minimal cleaning to this and basically all i did was kind of just get the surface dirt off it i was very careful with it i used a baby wipe and nothing else and i did not dare do anything more because again it's got a lot of signs of, of age to it and i don't want it to, to destroy that um i'm pretty sure that like someone who actually wanted to restore this or clean it up or whatever that they would want to kind of clean up the, the clasp and everything but the clasp is kind of the coolest part you literally just pop it like that and open it and i'm just going to show you that little there we go focus camera that little clasp there and you can see it there that's even taken a bit of damage someone must have slammed it down hard at some point and it's nailed in place like <laughs> yeah sold now the hinges are also something pretty unusual you can see that if i can get that to show up on the there we go Come on, focus camera, focus camera. There we go. You can see the hinges there are actually screwed in with uh, with flat screws. Basically, they're not Phillips screws. That's pretty cool. That actually tells us something interesting. Now, I bought this in a thrift store for $6. Why did I buy it? Well, first I picked it up and thought, oh, this is old. And then I opened it. And guys, the inside of it smells like cigars. <laughs> like, this is an antique. It's... It's obviously incredibly old. I'm guessing it's something easily over 100 years old. It has this amazing smell. And I wish you guys could actually experience this. It has an incredible smell of tobacco, like on the inside. And I don't want to say that it's actually an unpleasant smell. I personally don't think it is, bearing in mind that I don't smoke at all. <laughs> um, and I hate the smell of cigarette smoke, but that's not what this is. It just literally just smells like it smells like that that strong kind of pungent like smell from from an actual like actual cigar, not like not a cigar that's being smoked, just the smell of the to the, the tobacco itself. And it's and it's amazing. It's like I, I picked up a smell and I thought, wow, this is this must be an antique cigar box. And I'm obviously like you know with the smell and everything, I thought you know this is going to be something worth talking about. And it's been very interesting finding out what it is. I'm trying to discover essentially what it, what it might be. The one thing I'm kind of impressed by is that a hundred, for a hundred years old, it's still in remarkably good shape. The hinge is still in amazing shape. You can place it anywhere; it's not loose or anything. Like, 
seriously look at that and if you close it flat it closes very it closes and fits together very nicely you can see there's a little bit of kind of a pop-up on that side but it slots together like exactly in there and then slide it closed and there you go lovely box okay so based on all that <laughs> what have i actually got to talk about? i'm going to show you i'm going to show you guys some stuff about what it can actually be so the first thing that we want to talk about right is this Henry F. Phillips, right? Inventor of the Phillips screw. This does not have Phillips screws in it. Um, I obviously I know the flat screws or whatever would have been still being used, or you know, even we still obviously still use them now, even after the invention of the of the like the Phillips screw. But I'm pretty sure that this dates to prior to the Phillips screw because it seems very strange to use flats if you had something like a Phillips screw instead, because obviously the Phillips screw was better and it was you know very quickly adopted. You know when it actually was invented but anyway the phillips screw only came around in the 1930s okay so that kind of suggests to me that this would be prior to the 1930s again this is just kind of a guess but it kind of feels like it could be right just based on like the look at the the age of the metal work the way it's tarnished and everything you know I, i'm kind of like i'm wondering am i in the right ballpark i think i think i am but anyway, what else can we tell about this? So the second thing you know about it is this. This is Bot Nature, okay? It's a cedar box in which cigars are sold. It has two rear hinges, a brooch-style clasp, four collars within the edges of the box and corners that are dovetailed or interlocked. And then you have like another type, which is semi Bot Nature, and they're made entirely wood without any trimmings, lack some of the characteristics. This is an actual true Bot Nature box. And this is so cool. This means that like this would have been used to, to sell cigars like back in the day. And that seem, kind of seems about right. I've looked up some pictures online about what like antique and vintage like cigar boxes of the kind of bot nature that they actually look like. And the newer ones from like the mid-century, they look much lighter than this. They're very light. They're very kind of, you know, they're very kind of well-defined. Like they don't show this age. I think I'm correct in thinking that this is prior to the 1930s. This is at least an antique and probably about 100 years old. But anyway, apart from that, do we actually know who made it? And here's the thing, there's nothing on the lid that I can find, but I'm not sure if this is even going to show up on the camera. Obviously we can't have, there's nothing in there on the inside, but there is here. And I just, you can just barely see it. And to be honest, I've been, like, you can see this oval, this very slight impression of an oval, this very slight impression of an internal oval. And there is also, although you can, you know, you can see the edge of a box here. And there's something written above it. Now, I did a whole bunch of looking, and I'm really sorry if this doesn't show up on the camera enough. It's, it's, it's very, very hard to see. You're gonna have to trust me that it's definitely there. I cannot read the writing, I'm only looking at the shape, but I think I got something close. And it is this, Benson and Hedges. I have the oval, with the, like essentially the, 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 the oval with the actual with the lip or whatever, with the with the with the rim to it. A lot of them just have like a like a solid line or whatever. I've seen it. There's a few different the like botniture boxes. They have the logos on the inside. They're often in this oval shape. The Benson Hedges one is the only one that I can find that has these this double line on the outer oval and the inner oval. All the rest seem to have solid lines. And it also has this box underneath, and it says "Beware of Imitations." Now again, this is very hard to see. And if it's not showing up on camera, you're going to have to just take my word for it. But just here, there's the edge of the box. And that looks like ONS. That looks like the end of imitations. And <laughs> yeah, you just, you can't see it very well at all. It just doesn't quite show up at all, really. That's unfortunate. But I think that kind of gives us enough to go on. I think that this is, and I think that this is an antique Benton and Hedges bought a sure cigar box. I think, you know, turn of the 20th century, this would have been full of cigars from Benton and Hedges and would have been sold, you know, as a kind of, I don't know, I guess a presentation box for your cigars. But if it actually helps us, like, do we know anything about Benson and Hedges, the company? And yeah, we do. English company founded in 1873, but in the 1900s, branches of Benton and Hedges were opened in the United States of Canada. Now, this is not to say that this could be earlier than, than, than the 1900s. Like, I, I, it's entirely possible that this is actually in the 19th century because Vancouver, weirdly enough, is the kind of place where you could get something from the other side of the world just showing up here. It's 
one of the quirks of the city. We seem to be a crossroads for like everywhere and anywhere. I've seen stuff in Vancouver that I'm just like, how in the world did that get here? But here we are. So, so yeah, like, the, the, I don't really have any more information, unfortunately, about like how, like, I can't really narrow it down any further than that. That's why I'm saying, like, or kind of thinking early 20th century. Simply because it has all the signs of age, it has the correct, it has those screws, and like, it just seems correct, and it's unfortunately kind of a guess. But it's still like a really cool, interesting box, and I still can't believe that like you can literally open it and you can, you can smell the cigars that it would have had like back in the day. That's so cool. Again, very well made box as well, and I'm sure that if someone's kind of into kind of, you know, tobacco collectibles, or they're into this kind of thing, someone's really going to like it, or they would actually like it just for kind of, I guess, for the effect, for decor. If someone like, or even. The other thing that I was actually thinking about is that, wow, I'm pretty sure that like a, like a film set actually might might definitely make use of this. If they want like a cool old box, you know, to be used as a prop, this is definitely the kind of thing that they want. It's just, it's so cool. I can't believe I bought it for $6. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to be putting it up on Etsy, um, most likely. It is an antique and I kind of feel that like, um, like vintage and, and antique stuff tends to, tends to, to do better on Etsy. What is it actually worth? To be honest, probably not a lot. I haven't seen any kind of major prices for very old, like like tobacco, tobacchiana, whatever you want to call it, collectibles. I don't think they're as popular today as they were maybe like 20 years ago. Um, I've, I've been eyeballing it and I would guess that it may be 20 to $30 is probably the most that this is going to go for. Still kind of nice and you never know if someone might, you know, or maybe just someone might decide they like the, the smell of the tobacco. Interesting box. I'm definitely glad that I found it. So... This is my small joyful thing for the day. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.